guys welcome back to our channel so for today's video as you can see on the title below um, I will be doing and I will be giving you the requirements for renewal of work permit or combo card and before that guys I wanted to say sorry because we haven't had uploaded any video recently I think the last video was two months ago or what because we are so busy and we are trying our best, but this weekend, we're gonna shoot a video for you guys. But let's start with this video. This is very, very important video. Because I know, I know this is gonna be a stressful um, days for you guys. Because if you are um, running out of time, and also if you have to renew your work permit or your combo card, and you don't know the requirements so I will help you out and this is gonna be easier for you cuz I will be lining up all the requirements you will be needed and also I wanted to make this video a staglish video for my fellow Filipino viewers and for my fellow um, fellow English viewers so let's get into the video so I will suggest if your work permit is expiring soon like two months or three months mag renew na agad kayo like give it three months ahead of time before mag expire ang inyong um green uh, inyong combo card kasi hindi natin alam ang USCIS kung paano nila binibase or paano nila pina-process ang application natin especially now that madaming ban na nangyayari madaming delays na nangyayari madaming workload ang office so hindi natin alam kung kailan so suggest ko lang sa inyo ahead of time mag apply na agad kayo like 3 months or 4 months before your expiration date kasi sobrang nakakastress especially kung nagwo work kayo ngayon and hindi nyo alam kung kailan dadating ang approval kung kailan dadating ang notice kung kailan dadas, dadating ang ang letter of um um, acceptance, yung mga ganyang bagay. Nakaka-stress, lalo na kung nag-work. Especially, ayaw niya mawalan ng work kasi hindi naman kayo pwede mag-work pag walang combo card. So, mag-renew agad kayo bago mag-expire. Next is, before mag-expired ang inyong combo card, make sure na mag-apply kayo para i-wave pa ng office or ng USCIS ang fee. So, hindi na kayo magbabayad both um, work permit and advance parole kung mag apply kayo before the expiration date. Kasi, um, parang nababalitaan ko may bayad daw ang travel permit tapos ang work permit wala. Pero kung mag apply kayo before the expiration date of the card, it will be waived by the uh, USCIS or the offices. So, let's start with our requirements. So, first, I want you to uh, have two envelopes two envelopes for work permit and the tr the advance parole. So let's start. Yung first um, requirements is a cover letter. Cover letter guys. Paano ba magawa ng cover letter? Sa cover letter nandoon ang pangalan nyo, address, phone number and email address. Sa susunod namang paragraph is date kung kailan nyo isi-send or kailan nyo ginawa and then United States Department of Homeland Security and then down below US Citizenship and Immigration Services so yun yung nando doon sa taas tapos ang sunod doon is nature of submission which is your renewal of I-765 employment authorization document and filing concurrently is renewal of I-131 which is the application for travel document or advance parole. After noon, to vomit my concern, pagkatapos noon, yung inyong pangalan, date, um, bakit kayo nagsisend ng application kasi mag, mag expired ng inyong card. At kasama, kasama nito ay ang application ng inyong travel document. At mag expired na ito kung kailan. Ganon. And then, please find and close forms I-765 and I-131 with their corresponding supporting documents. Pagkatapos noon guys, yung requirements ng inyong work permit and then requirements ng inyong travel permit. And then after noon, pangalan nyo na and signature. Okay. 
Pagkatapos ng cover letter, is requirements ng work permit. First is kailangan natin mag-fill mag up ng G1145. What is G1145? Yun yung doon natin ilalagay ang pangalan, phone number kung sino pwedeng kontakin, email address, para pag may update sa ating application, doon na laang nila isesend. Next is duly accomplished I-765 form which is the form for application for employment authorization documentation. Fill up nyo lang yon, Alam ko mahaba pero kailangan uh, fill up ng information tapos um, answer lang ng mga tanong. Um, be honest guys sa mga pag-answer ng mga questions. And also say na meron ka ng SSN kung meron and say if no if kung wala. And then, kung meron ka you guys, and then just include the SSN number down below over there. Next one is copy a bio biographic page of your passport. So kailangan meron tayo nun para makita nila yung pangalan and yung information natin na um, yung yung ating yung ating information with the government ID kasi always yon kahit na uh, meron na tayong ID with the married name kailangan talaga nila ng Philippine passport or yung passport. Next is K1 visa page or yung inyong visa page sa passport. Copy lang naman, print nyo lang yun or scan nyo lang yun, okay na. Next one is I-94, form I-94. I-94 is doon nagsasaad kung anong visa kayo nagpunta dito, kung kailan kayo nagpunta dito, kung saan yung port of entry nyo, yung uh, passport number nyo, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Yun lang yun. Kung wala kayo nun, punta lang kayo sa website, type nyo I-94, and then put nyo lang yung information. Ipupull out na nila yung uh, copy ng inyo and pwede nyo siyang iprint. Next is copy of marriage certificate. I think I send a certified copy of marriage certificate. Next one is a birth certificate. Also, this is the very important part of the requirements, guys, is the copy of your front and back EAD card or combo card. Um, pwede nyo na siyang ipagsama sa isang papel, front and back. Pwede colored or black and white. Pero lagi ako nag, naggagawa ng colored sa mga photos ko para naman makita nila ng maliwanag yung mga information and yung picture. Next is um, copy of I-765 Employment Authorization Approval Notice. Yung approval or know what to ng application nyo um, para sa inyong employment or combo card noon. Next is copy of I-485 application to register permanent residence or adjust status notice. Ito yung NOAA 1 kasi wala pa tayong NOAA 2 kasi hindi pa kayo na-interview, hindi pa na-approve. So, NOAA 1 to ng inyong application for permanent residence or yung adjust of status nyo. Tapos, copy of biometric appointment Kung nakapag-biometric na kayo before, yun na lang yung gagamitin nila para sa information and also sa picture, yun na din yung gagamitin nila. And basta isi-send nyo lang yung copy ng biometric appointment, yung schedule, kung saan office kayo pupunta, kung anong time. Meron kayo nun, so dig into your files and yun yung ilagay nyo. Pero copy lang guys, hindi yung original. Next is... Two pieces of 2x2 two two colored photo. Lagi tayo may ganyan. So, ilagay nyo lang din yung A number sa likod. And good to go. Jump in naman tayo sa I-131 form or application for travel document or advance parole. So, halos magkaparehas lang sila ng requirements. Pinagkaiba lang is yung um, form ng um, travel document. Yun ang ating fill up an punta lang kayo sa website ng USCIS tapos hanap nyo yung form I-131 form for travel document or advance parole. Download nyo yun. Pwede nyo kayong pwede kayong mag-fill up through computer or isusulat nyo tapos pagkatapos i-print. Parang ganon. Pwede, pwede. Pwede. Familiar naman na tayo kung papaano fill upan kasi madami na tayo na fill upan. Oh, and also don't forget to include your um, copy of 131 travel document approval notice. Yun yung know what to 
na na-approve yung inyong travel document before or um, something like that. Yun, basta copy lang ng approval or ng notice. So, I think that's it for today, guys. Salamat at pinanood nyo ang aking video. And, sana natulungan ko kayo sa in your future renewal and future application ng inyong work permit or combo card and also the travel permit. And, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming videos coming from us. And, for more information na kailangan natin in the future sa pag apply and pag adjust ng status dito sa America. And don't forget to um, subscribe also in my channel. I have my personal channel guys. I will leave the, the channel after this. Um, IX Corner, that is my personal channel. I, will, uh, I upload different kind of videos food recipe about plants lifestyle everything so if you want to check that out please click that um channel and we'll see you there bye